Greetings, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Donia with Coco Queens Fitness, and I'm here to give you a kind of like my go-to yoga flow. When I just need to take some time to get into my body, it's a pretty gentle flow. We actually aren't ever even going to stand up. We'll be on the ground the entire time. So if it's something that interests you, please watch until the end. It'll be about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, as always, please like this video if you find anything that I'm doing, or saying, or moving to be useful. Please leave me any comments if you have any suggestions or questions. And please subscribe so you can make sure that you um, get notifications when I post videos. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus to take some time to myself, reevaluate my needs, but I'll be posting a new video every single week. And I'll do my best to let you folks know what day of the week I'll be posting. But until I figure out exactly which day that is, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Um, I will drop the link for my Instagram and my website. And that's all I have right now. As far as uh, if you want to contact me directly, you can go over to my Instagram. And um, my website will be including a members only area very soon. Uh, which will dive into how we as Black women can begin our spiritual journeys, our wellness journeys, how we can begin meditation, how we can begin yoga, how we can begin really getting really deep into inner and self-love. For today's flow, we're going to begin on our backs. By the way, this is Al Green Pothos here in the corner. And I actually don't have a name for this photo. This is the first photo I've ever had that's all green. Most of them are usually marble, like all green over here. So they'll be joining me today. Begin on your back. Now. Arms can either be by your side or hands can be placed on your belly. Legs can be extended all the way out or knees can be bent facing the ceiling or the sky. Close your eyes, seal the lips, allow air to flow freely in and out through the nose. Take this moment to connect with your breath. Feel the cool air as it enters in through your nostrils. Feel the warm air as it exits. Are there any areas on your body that you feel tension in this moment? If so, intentionally send your breath there. Give yourself permission to release that tension, to release whatever it is that's there, to release anything that's not serving you in this moment. This time for your practice is for you and your breath. Your movement does not have to look like anything that you don't want it to. The only thing that you must do while you practice yoga is to breathe. Take three deep cleansing breaths. Gently blink your eyes open. Extend your legs out long if you haven't already. Inhale and draw your right knee into your chest. Interlace your fingers and wrap them around your shin. Flex your foot to draw your toes in towards your shin. Exhale and draw the knee into the chest, allowing it to melt as deep as your movement will allow. Inhale and gently release. Exhale, draw it in deeper. Continue moving like this. Taking this time to move slowly and intentionally. Checking in with your hips. Checking in with your hamstrings. 
checking in with your stomach that just growled. <laughs> Maybe even checking in with your shoulders. Whatever feels like it needs a little attention while you're doing this movement. Take one more on this side. Inhale and slowly switch. Right leg comes out, left knee comes in. Fingers interlace around your left shin. Left foot is flexed. Exhale, allow the knee to melt into the chest. Inhale, gently ease up. Exhale, melt into the chest. Continue to move like this, just like we did on the other side. Take the time to check in. How are you feeling? What are you feeling? Notice any subtle differences between this side and the other. And remember that there's nothing wrong with differences. They just exist. Slowly and intentionally, allowing your movement to match your breath. Take one more on this side. Inhale, gently release. Bring your right leg back. Knee back into your chest. This time, interlace your fingers behind your thigh. As you exhale, straighten your right leg. Rest that foot towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Checking in with your hamstring. Inhale, bend the knee. Allow it to fall and relax. Exhale, straighten the leg. Gently drawing that hamstring, the leg closer to your chest if possible, you can force it. Inhale, bend the knee, all the foot's fall. Exhale, leg extends. Complete three more on this side. Still moving slowly and intentionally, allowing your breath to match your movement. After your last one, slowly lower and release. Bring your right leg back out long. Left leg comes back in. Fingers interlace behind your left thigh. Inhale deeply. Exhale, straight in that left leg. Inhale, knee bends, foot falls. Exhale, leg straight. Checking in with your hamstring muscles, these muscles that line the back of your thigh. Continue moving like this until you've completed three more on the side. And feel free to breathe in and out through your nose only. I'm doing my best to breathe out through my mouth so you folks can hear me. <laughs> that I'm breathing. On your last one, gently release. Draw both feet, or I should say heels, in towards your bottom. Knees pointed up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. Hands by your side, resting on your mat at the ground. We're going to lift our hips up into bridge. So feel free to brace yourself by pressing your elbows down into the ground, bending your, uh, your arms. So your palms or fists are facing the sky, elbows and triceps pressing into the earth, or keep your arms out long and allow your palms to press, whichever way you'd like to brace. Inhale, press your feet into the earth and lift your hips up towards the sky, bracing and pressing with your fore your triceps and your elbows. Exhale, slowly lower the hips back down to the earth. Three more. Inhale, lift. Hips come up towards the sky. 
if you feel a little discomfort, try to bring your heels a little closer to your bum and lift up a little higher. You feel a little, a little too much tension in your little bum. Exhale slowly lower. Two more, inhale deep and lift. Press into the earth. Exhale, lower slowly. Last one, inhale and lift. Exhale. Slowly. Slowly roll over to a tabletop position on your hands and knees. In this tabletop position, shoulders are stacked over our wrists, hips are stacked over our knees. From this tabletop position, inhale, allow your belly to lower, spine to curve, chin and forehead to rise for cow. Exhale, press the earth away, spine rounds, tailbone tucks, chin tucks into the chest. Inhale, belly lower, chin and forehead rise, the cow. Exhale, press the earth away, chin and tailbone tuck, spine rounds. Complete three more at your own pace. Continue to move slowly and intentionally, really articulating through the spine. Last one. Slowly return to the neutral spine. Lift your left leg up to your knee and uh, shin or parallel to the ground like you're tinkling on a fire hydrant. <laughs> and slowly create circles with your knee. Get some movement, some warmth into your hip joint. Continue moving like this. Feel the heat building. Do your best to make your circles a little bit bigger each time. Take one more circle in this direction and pause and switch the direction of your circles. Feel some fire building in your glutes. Shoulders might be really working to keep you balanced. Take one more and pause. Gently place your knee back on the ground. Bring the tops of your feet to the ground. Take one step out with each knee, but keep your feet together. Press your hips back towards your feet and extend your arms out forward. Allow your forehead, if possible, to lower to the mat for child's pose. Take three deep breaths here. Slowly and gently rise about halfway. Walk your hands to the left side off of your mat. Keep them parallel. Lower your chest and head once more. Take three deep breaths here. Feel the stretch in the right side of your body.
slowly come up. Walk your hands back to the tabletop position. Come back onto your knees. And bring your knees back under your hips. I'm going to rotate. You folks don't have to move. There's not a wall in your way. <laughs> Once you return to your tabletop position, look again. Shoulders stack over wrists. Hips stack over knees. Lift your right leg up. Shin and knee parallel to the ground like your teeth in on a fire hydrant. And take circles. Create those circles with your knee. Moving slowly and intentionally, really feeling the range of motion in your hip joint. You do sit or stand a lot. This could be tough. It's really great to get some motion in this joint. Take one more. Pause. Reverse the direction of your circles. If you need to rest, feel free to do so. This is your practice. Take one more circle. Pause. Gently bring that knee down. Once again, bring the tops of your feet down to your mat. Take one little step out with each knee so that your knees are wider than your feet. Press the hips back towards your feet. Extend your arms out in front. Allow the forehead to come down to the mat for child pose. Three deep breaths here. Remind yourself that you deserve this rest, not because you did anything, but because you always deserve rest. Gently rise about halfway. Walk your palms off your mat to the right side. Lower your head and chest once more. Take three deep breaths on this side. Feel the stretch now on the left side body. Gently slowly rise. Walk yourself back to your tabletop position. Shoulders stacked over wrists, hips stacked over knees. From here, slowly and with control, bring your right foot to connect and meet the right hand, almost to replace it. You can bring it to a little bit outside your right hand. So both of your hands are still in line and inside of the right foot. You're going to be taking some movements here in your hips. So you have the option to stay here in this 90-90 position or to walk your hands and foot forward if you'd like more of a distance between your right foot and your left knee. Do what feels good for your body today. Inhale, bring your gaze and chest to rise, pressing your hips forward. Exhale, move the hips back, allow your right foot to come to the heel, straighten that leg slightly. Gaze stays forward, arms come straight. Feel the stretch here in your hamstring. Inhale, foot comes flat. Chest and gaze rise, hips press forward. Exhale, hips come back, leg straightens, foot rises. Continue moving like this, slowly and with intention. Once again, bringing some, some warmth and some movement to our hips and hamstrings. These muscles can be very, very tight. If we walk, stand, or sit for long hours, 
and I do. <laughs> I walk a lot at work, squatting, doing all kinds of things. It's one of the reasons why this is my favorite flow to come back to. Simple, really delicious movements. The next time you're forward in your lunge, pause. Slowly and with control, bring your right leg back to meet your left. And we'll do the opposite side. Bring your left foot forward to meet your left hand. Now I'll turn around. Y'all can see me once again. Left foot forward. Once again, you can remain here in this 99 position. If you find that when you come forward, your knee comes over your toe, feel free to take a little step forward. When you come forward into your lunge, stack your knee over your ankle. You can ensure that that's your, your range of motion. You should feel pretty comfortable here. If you're here in your 90-90, and all you can shift is here, just a little forward, that's totally okay. Remember, this is your practice. Whatever that movement looks like for you is completely okay. Once you get to a, a position that feels good for you, inhale, hips, chest, and gaze come forward. Exhale, hips press back, foot lifts, legs straightens. Do not lock your knee, keep this knee soft. You shouldn't be here. Have a soft bend in that knee, keep that knee safe. Inhale, hips, chest, and gaze come forward. Exhale, hips press back. You don't hear my knee, I mean my hip, <laughs> my hip popping. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. But I can hear it. Let me see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that. <laughs> Continue moving this way, allowing your breath to guide your movement. Remember the only thing you have to do, the only requirement <laughs> to yoga is to breathe. Oh, the clicking stops. Crazy. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> the next time you're forward in your lunge, pause. Slowly and with control, bring your left leg back to meet your right. And you slowly make your way onto your bottom in a butterfly position. Feet in front with our uh, heels, or not heels, our soles touching. Interlace your fingers around your toes. If this position is not comfortable for you or accessible, it'll be, um, you can find some support by sitting on a pillow or a block or two or a stack of books. Um, anything that you can sit on to elevate your hips will help make this position a lot easier to access. Take a moment to uh, grab anything that you might need, a pillow, a block, a big book, uh, whatever it is. Inhale and draw your knees up towards your shoulders. Exhale and press your knees down into the earth, lengthening the spine while you sit up nice and tall. Inhale, knees come up towards your shoulders. Exhale, press the knees down into the earth. Continue moving like this, slowly and with intention. Feeling the muscles in the hips begin to relax and release. Wherever you're feeling the most tension, Send your breath there. Remember, this is a process. It doesn't have to happen overnight. Just enjoy the movement. Oh. 
take one more. Gently release the feet. Feel free to sit in a crisscross applesauce position, or you can remain in that butterfly if it's comfortable for you. Place your right hand down by your side on the mat. Lift your left leg, or left leg, left arm, <laughs> straight up towards the sky. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, reach and bend your left hand over to the right side. You may slide your right hand out to give you a little bit more range of motion or lower your elbow down to the mat and reach. Take a deep breath here, really opening the chest, roll the chest open. Inhale and slowly switch. Windmill, the left palm down to the mat beside you. Right arm comes up to follow. Exhale, reach to the left. One more breath as we open up the chest. Inhale as a windmill once more. Right arm comes down. Left arm comes up and over. Exhale. Reach and stretch. Allow this left arm to remain engaged and let it fall over to your head. After we reach over to the right side, roll that chest open. Last one. Inhale as we windmill. Left palm down to the mat. Right arm comes up to follow. Exhale. Reach and stretch over to the left. Roll that chest nice and open. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Wrap your arms around you in a nice big hug. Take hold of your shoulder blades. Ooh, let me move my curtain so I don't look. There we go. Give yourself a nice big hug. Take a quick note of what elbow is on top. Oh, oh, hello, Bear. Bear seems to want to join us. Okay, sit down, Bear. Sit down. This is Bear, everyone. <laughs> Take a quick moment to notice uh, which elbow is on top. Okay, for me, my right elbow is on top. Inhale, lift the elbows up towards the face. Exhale, lower and curl your whole body, chin tucks. Inhale, open and lift and raise your elbows. Exhale, lower and curl. One more, inhale. Elbows rise. Exhale, elbows lower and up. Slowly come up. Release, bring your arms all the way out to a T. Then refold them around your body. Let's switch elbows. So now I brought my right and my left arm on top. Yeah. <laughs> Once you get here, settle in for a moment. Inhale, elbows rise. Exhale, elbows lower, tuck and curl your body. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows lower, curl whole into a little ball. Last one, inhale up. Elbows rise. Exhale, fold and curl the body. Gently come back up to neutral. Release your arms down to the mat. 
Inhale, reach the arms straight up above head, gaze follows. Exhale, arms come down to the mat, gaze goes forward. Two more, inhale, arms up, gaze follows. Exhale, arms down, gaze forward. Last one, inhale, arms up, gaze forward. Exhale, arms lower, gaze forward. Slowly shift your way to a lying position. For this Shavasana, the purpose of Shavasana is to relax. If you feel more comfortable lying on your side, on your belly, feel free to take that position. And Shavasana does not have to be you lying on your back with your legs completely straight, arms straight. You can do whatever you feel. I'm going to leave my legs bent with one arm out and one arm on my belly. I'm going to close my eyes and feel my lips. Allowing air to flow in and out through my nose. Expressing gratitude for my body for taking me through this practice. Expressing gratitude for myself for taking the time to do this practice. We have so much to be grateful for. Gratitude for waking up today. Gratitude for being guided safely through the night. Gratitude for love from all of our loved ones, close family and friends. Gratitude for a roof over our heads, clothes on our back, and food on our plate, or in our plate, excuse me. Gratitude for this breath. This breath that will continue no matter what, but that we also have control over. We can choose to pause and breathe deeply, breathing into our bellies, giving ourselves a moment in this extremely rushed world that we live in, and reminding ourselves to take our time to really be in the present moment. Take a moment to think to yourself the things that you are grateful for. Repeat them silently or out loud to yourself during this time. As you allow your body to continue to walk, to melt into you. Take three deep cleansing breaths. (sighs) 
slowly begin taking small motions in your hands and feet, wiggling your fingers and toes, moving your arms and legs, rolling over to your favorite side, if you're not already good. <laughs> and slowly making your way to a comfortable seated position. I'd like to thank you all for coming to my channel. Thank you for practicing with me today. The light in me sees, honors, respects, and acknowledges, and loves the light in me. Until next time. <laughs> Not to say. What the dog is mean. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. If you haven't already, go ahead. Subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed this flow, and leave me any comments. Tell me if you're feeling, what you like, what you didn't like, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.